It may look like the world's fanciest racing game, and it is, but that's not the story here. Whoa! And I may look like the world's worst race car driver, and I am. You know, I drive a minivan, right? But that's not the story either. To get us to this story, we need Mike Winter behind the wheel. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Trophy.ai. They don't make the game, they don't make the chair. What we do is we build artificial intelligence that can analyze you and tell you how to get better at being a race car driver. Okay, so this is Trophy.ai. This is our artificial intelligence tool. Trophy has analyzed our lap. It's understanding where we're losing the most time, so where we're making the most mistakes, and the biggest mistakes. Then it's giving us exact details of what we need to do to improve on that track. What you can see is the AI's picked out. I'm the orange-yellow trace, and the red trace is what an expert looks like. See how slow I am on that yeah. brake? That means I'm losing time because I'm not on the brakes fast enough. So it's picked that out, and it's telling me that's something I need to work on. The AI coach also tells you how to work on your gas, your gear shifting, and your steering. It recommends training programs for the skills you need to improve. You know, right now it's in racing, but if you look fast forward in five years, we'll be in almost every video game. And in 10 years, I think we'll be in every sport. You know, if you're a young person, you're learning how to play tennis, if you're learning how to play hockey, everyone will have a personal AI coach that's available and watching them and making them better all the time. Just how far-fetched is this AI-driven future of games and sports? In some ways, it's already begun. Computers long ago learned how to play most board games like chess and Go better than humans. Now, free websites like chess.com can analyze your gameplay, show you the best move in any situation, and teach you how to avoid mistakes. Recently, algorithms have cracked more complex games like Texas Hold'em Poker. Now, instead of reading people's faces, gamblers train with AI assistants that analyze every hand and teach you how to make the best bet. But how is this going to work in tennis or in hockey, a game that doesn't have an electronic input and it's just you and, and your body? Yeah, so that is a few years away. You're seeing um, artificial intelligence is advancing very quickly in what's called pose analysis. So the ability to have cameras take uh, pictures of you and understand the positions of your body. So that's, that's the future that's coming. The reason we started with video games is because that is still an evolving field. Uh, and instead, video games luckily provide us all the data we need to develop AI. Trophy.ai is trying to get in on the ground floor of that future, and they're building it here in St. John's. The company has just raised more than $3 million in seed funding. It's hiring more engineers and data scientists and moving out of its small downtown office into a space leased from Misa, one of the province's leading tech companies. Following their footsteps, or tire tracks, won't be easy. The AI gold rush is on, and it's a global competition. But the team at Trophy AI is revved up and say everything they need to win this race is right here. I truly believe that in Newfoundland we can compete in this global market and build a leading company. And again, we've proven it now. We have some great companies here and we're going to uh, hopefully prove it again with Trophy. Zach Gowdy, CBC News, St. John's.